existential crisis existentialism is an intellectual man's problem animals don't have existentialism for existentialism you need insight you need curiosity and both of these things are evolved cognitive features you need to have curiosity that you want to know things if you don't want to know then anything that is unexplained in front of you is not going to bother you curiosity will put in a question mark in front of every unexplained thing which is what makes you want to go out seek find answers and that is curiosity in the outside which a lot of people have. but if you also have insight now you can look into yourself you can know what kind of person you are and that same curiosity applies within also now is the problem curiosity is great but our knowledge is not infinite there are lots of things we don't know and the problem with not knowing is that not knowing is a threat knowing that you don't know is a threat if you don't know that's fine we don't know hundreds of things millions of things in fact the things that we know are far outnumbered by the things that we don't know but that itself is not threat i don't know how many moons jupiter has that's fine but if i am faced with a problem where i know that i don't know the answer to this that can be a threat there is no no bigger threat than an unexplained topic regarding yourself that is the crux of existentialism or that is the crux of existential crisis so the crux of existentialism is itself is insight with curiosity but existential crisis is when that insight and curiosity leads you to a question where you don't know the answer and now what do you do because you've opened the pandora's box you opened that door now you have to face the truth that you don't know the answer i went through it a little bit and i think we all go through it it's not special anybody who's thinking about philosophy anybody who thinks about the world and life and universe and why are we here is bound to go down that road of existential crisis in fact if you haven't then you haven't thought it properly so if you are somebody going through an existential crisis congratulations that means you are thinking correctly an existential crisis is an important station on the train journey towards understanding if you haven't stopped there then you you're going down the wrong road but the way that i have come to peace with it is this realization that the story story is much 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 bigger than me but that doesn't mean that i am nothing and these are two different thoughts these are two parallel thoughts that often people have trouble putting together people can either go to one extreme wherein i am the most important person nobody else is important or i am nothing kya hi farak padta hai is duniya khatam hi hone wali hai mere bolne se na bolne se kya farak padta hai mera vote dene se na dene se kya farak padta hai people have trouble understanding that there is something between in 0 and 1 you are not the only thing and you are not nothing try to stay in that zone try to be in that spot where you realize that you are not unimportant but you are not all that important now what do you do and the way that i thought of this is three two things you are a part of a wave a wave that has started millions billions of years ago you did not come out of nothing you didn't just suddenly appear right for you to exist all of evolution had to happen that inherently gives you some sense of importance you wouldn't have come here otherwise so you are at the forefront of a wave that has started if you go back to st- the beginning of earth what 4 billion years ago if you go back all the way to big bang then it's 3 13.8 billion years ago so you are at the forefront of a movement that started 13.8 billion years ago think about that that is one way to think about it. another way to think about it is that you are just one person in a world of 7 billion people you are just one creature in a world with trillions of creatures you are just some collection of atoms in a universe with infinite atoms when we say that you are one in 1 trillion it is easy to feel that you are not important all right now this is this is the crux of it okay listen listen carefully when i tell you that you are one in 10 you are 0.1 when i tell you you are 1 in 100 you are 0.01 correct are you with me so far 1 in 1000 0.001 in 10000 and so on now if you are 1 in 1 billion trillion zillion cells now you are 0.000 whatever 1 million zeros followed by a 1 my concept is that when you are one in that much the only thing that's separating that from being nothing is you when it is one zero followed by a billion zeros and then there is one one and that one is you you are the only thing that separates that whole number from being zero that makes you pretty important and so in a very weird twisted logic i've realized that everybody has that importance 
everybody has that value in the world and more than value i feel everybody has potential value we are all here with a potential energy it's not about what you do it's about what you can do you may not do it you know not all of you will reach your potential and that is fine because the world doesn't depend on you reaching your potential you understand there is no pressure on you to fulfill your potential even if you don't do anything and even if you die doing nothing the world will go on so don't feel any pressure to achieve anything but whatever you do is going to help the world and that is how the system works the whole system is designed in a way that everybody's contribution is going to keep getting added up added up added up and society is going to move forward anybody who does nothing will remain doing nothing that is fine and anybody who tries to bring back society gets cancelled out nobody can stop the forward movement of evolution right it is too big it has been going on for far too long you cannot screw it up so isn't that a comforting thought there's no pressure on you and because there is no pressure on you you can be pretty much anything you want you cannot you can't do any wrong is what i'm trying to say everything you do is only right you will either not help at all or you will help in some way so do that is my concept of existentialism